So welcome back to the press conference of Tottenham Hotspurs, represented here by manager Maurizio Pochettino and players Hugo Lloris and Harry Winks. We'll start with the questions for the players because we need to release them afterwards for the training. Can we have the first question, please? Gentlemen in the middle. Um, hello. Hello, Hugo. Joint question for you and for Winksy, obviously. You are an experienced captain, uh, World Cup winner. How do you um, calm down the, the younger players on your team at such an important occasion tomorrow? Uh, we need everyone, uh, to be fair. Um, I think it's a good mix inside the, the changing room about the experimented players and the young players. Um, just follow leaders, first of all the manager and the coaching staff and then um, and then the team leaders and um, yeah and then be ready because it's going to be a, a fantastic game to play, to, to enjoy, even if the best way to enjoy is to win. But um, yeah, I think uh, every player is important at this stage of the competition uh, because it's going to be about details and uh, so any players can be decisive in this game. So we all want to win and we must be ready to make all the effort possible. And a quick question for Harry as well. It was, it was just, I don't know, months ago that you scored that goal against West Ham, your first goal, and then here you are. Maybe you'll be playing in the Champions League final tomorrow night. What can you say about the occasion? Yeah, well, similar to what Hugo said, you know, the occasion is is massive not only for for everybody involved, but for for the club and the fans itself. You know, it shows just how far how far Tottenham's come as a club, and you know, I've um, I've been I've managed to see it since it was since you know many years ago to to where it is today, and it's um, yeah, it's going to be a real special night for everybody involved, and and uh, quite an emotional night as well for everybody. Gentlemen in the middle with the black shirt. Yes, I, I would like to, to ask a question to Hugo. Um, Mauricio said uh, last week that uh, he enjoyed very much the preparation of every match, every every venue, every like like a journey, like this a beautiful journey. Not not only for winning the trophy, but uh, because of the of the the joy of of competing and and doing this together. Could you explain, uh, could you put an example of how do you, what's, what's the most uh, beautiful, the most enjoyable thing you, you experience along the way to this final? I think the togetherness uh, and the best example was the, um, the semi-final in, uh, in Amsterdam um, after the game, uh, the communion between the players, between uh, uh, players and staff, uh, players with the chairman, players with the fans. I think this moment was just uh, uh, one of the best moments in, in Ospers' career. And, um, and obviously we want a, a better moment tomorrow uh, after the game. Um, but as a professional athlete, um, I think it's important to enjoy the way you walk. Um, and we know football is a collective sport, so we spend so much time together um, and you, you start to work the togetherness uh, in any training session and then it can help us no, to, to achieve big things as a team uh, in the competition and, um, and this is probably why we are at this stage of the competition, because we are a proper team. Uh, Hugo, uh, you won't be aware, but the last captain to lift the World Cup and the European Cup at the same time, back to back, was Franz Beckenbauer. Does that put into focus just what an incredible 12 months you're having and what an important part of his football history this feels like at the moment? Yeah, first of all, it's a privilege no? um, to be part of uh, this uh, successful team. Um, to win the World Cup with my country uh, 
the massive achievement, uh, but it couldn't have not been possible without the help of my teammate. And uh, and it's the case uh, for the Champions League final. Um, it could not be done without the help of any of my teammates. Um, I feel like uh, someone pri uh, with a lot of privilege. Um, but the most difficult is ahead of us, is the game of tomorrow. Um, to make everything possible to win it and to put a stamp in the Champions League history. This is uh, our motivation. Hello, Hugo. Um, can I just ask about the unique pressure on goalkeepers in, in finals? Last season, we saw the Liverpool goalkeeper make a couple of mistakes. I think it's fair to say you made one mistake in the World Cup final last year. There's no margin for error in games like these, I guess, when it when it comes to goalkeepers. I don't know. Uh, I don't really like to talk about the others, about myself. Uh, um, I think I'm like like all my teammates. No, I'm very exciting, and uh, and we try to prepare the game as good as we can. Uh, about the final of the World Cup, uh, the score was already done at 4-1, and uh, and we all know that the focus is very important. Uh, in high level uh, games um, but uh, in football anything can happen on the pitch to, to, to me or for me or for my teammates the most important is how you react uh, in the second after and uh, and try to stick uh, until the end of the game uh, but um, when you're on the pitch you just want to enjoy your football try to make the best performance as you can and uh, and with the only focus is, is to win Hugo, bonjour. Ici. Thank you. <laughs> what do you fear the most in that Liverpool team, and what's going to be the key of the game, tactically speaking, for you? Um, I don't really believe that the, the tactic will have an impact tomorrow. Um, I think uh, the team. Uh, who will want the most will probably even close of the of the of the success. Um, I don't really like to talk about the opponent. I'm more able to talk about my teammates, about my team. Uh, of course, uh, we don't we we don't need to to present a Liverpool team. Um, and uh, if they are in final, it's because they deserve to be uh, at this stage of the competition. Um, for us, tomorrow is just try to bring the right energy uh, uh, to enjoy your performance, to enjoy to run, to enjoy to make the effort, uh, the desire to win. And um, with all the demand of the high level football in terms of focus, in terms of communication, I mean, um, the, the difference is about detail and everything can help the, to turn the game in your way. So um, I think uh, we had three weeks to prepare this game. And um, and I think we are ready mentally and physically to to to, to do the best tomorrow. Gentleman in the middle, in the white shirt, with glasses. No. Yes. Thanks, Loris. A question to you. Um, people, I mean, consider Liverpool to be favoured this time, this final, not like last year in Kiev. Yet I remember the second game that you had against Liverpool at Enfield, and this last goal, the 2 1, very strange goal, by the way. Um, when we consider this game, so do you believe Liverpool is the favourite in this final, thinking of that game at Enfield? I really think that we cannot compare a Champions League final and a Premier League game. Um, the context is completely different. Do we have more questions for the players? Then we can let them go. Thank you, gentlemen. You can go and prepare for the training. Thank you.